Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> uh, today I'm going to do uh, the next uh, installment in the Goodbye Windows Hello Manjaro series. Today we're going to talk about package management. Now, package management within Linux, I think um, as much as I love Arch and Manjaro, uh, their package management system, I believe, is superior to other flavors of Linux. However, uh, Ubuntu does a better job with their software center. Uh, so you can go in and browse packages by category. It makes it a lot easier to select if you're not familiar with what you're looking for. Sometimes you need a package, but you don't know the name of the package. You want to take a look at the categories. And so Manjaro and uh, Arch, they're lacking somewhat because they don't have a well-defined software center uh, that you can go to uh, as you see in Ubuntu. However, uh, if you take a look at the Arch wiki, there is a, a, a page with the list of applications broken down by category. So if you scroll through and take a look at categories, for example, firewalls, mathematics, if you go down to uh, amateur radio, emulators, flashcards, uh, so they do have it broken down quite well. If you uh, look into multimedia, there should be a multimedia section. You have download managers, FTP clients, and let's see, video downloaders, email clients, graphical instant messaging. So that is a, a comprehensive list of applications. However, uh, you can also right click on your PAMAC icon, go to Package Manager, search video, and it will bring up video applications. Now, the ones in green are the ones that are installed. Some of them are uh, dependencies, so you'll want to be careful before you remove anything. I'm using GUVC View to, to make this video and you can see that it shows as installed. There are a lot of video applications that I don't have installed. For example, Minitube. So you can, you can search this way also through the package manager. You have groups. It's it can be broken down into groups and that's very useful. You have orphans, foreign, pending, installed, and you have by repository. So there's a lot of information uh, that's neatly packaged into PAMAC or the package manager. You can view history, install local packages. Now you can go to preferences and you can remove unrequired dependencies automatically when you use the package manager. I don't recommend that because you can run into some problems which is why it's not enabled uh, out of the box. Check available disk space, check for updates, those are enabled. The system is going to check every six hours for updates. Now you can ignore upgrades. You can add a package to this list and it will ignore upgrades. For example, if you know, like the other day I had a network manager that was a problem. If, if I know that I downgraded and I don't want to upgrade until they fix the problem, I can add network manager to the ignore list and it won't try to update it when it does its normal updating. There's the official repositories. It's going to use mirrors worldwide and sort by speed. AUR I'm going to enable by default. I'm going to search in AUR by default, check for updates, and not ask for confirmation when building packages. So now since I enabled that you can see that I now have an update. We'll take a look at that in a moment. And of course you can uh, change the number of versions of each package to keep in cache. Right now the default is three. 
I'll close that out close that out and check to see which package needs to be updated probably Google Chrome now it's Vivaldi so I just installed the Vivaldi uh, web browser and now it needs to update the codex so let's go ahead and apply and commit and it'll go through it won't take long at all and that'll be updated now I'm gonna minimize that while it updates and we'll move on to the next topic now as I mentioned you have the list of applications the next thing you should familiarize yourself with is Pac-Man tips now these are if you I'm going to put these links into the show notes but I would recommend going through each of these so you and read through it so you have an understanding how to update how to optimize how to sync um, when you install a package what should you do so for updating they're recommending Pac-Man SYYU well YY forces the uh, sync of your system uh, so it will synchronize your system uh, even if it's already up to date that's the double Y and then the U is update so SYYU is recommended for a force sync and then an update you as I said you can ignore packages you can uh, uh, ignore packages either by using uh, PAMAC or you can actually put that into your Pac-Man configuration file manually so to install a package uh, the recommendation is to have the repo databases synchronized and then all packages up to date before you install so the recommendation is that you synchronize and update and then install your packages now again I'm not gonna go through the entire list but I would recommend and I will put the link I recommend that you go through and read through it and get a better and better understanding of Pac-Man so that covers list of applications and Pac-Man tips now if for example you updated your system and found that network manager for example didn't work any longer you can downgrade that package I did a video I'm gonna put a link to this video I did a video back in January when upgrades go wrong roll it back on Arch Linux well this also applies to Manjaro uh, there's an upgrade procedure and I'm gonna briefly review that with you let's take a look downgrading a package I'm gonna put this into the show notes in order to downgrade a package you'll have to install downgrade through Yawert you will have to install XPack through Pac-Man so that's these two commands then you're gonna run this command to see your recently upgraded packages and I will show you that then you'll pick the version that you want to roll back to I've already installed downgrade I've already installed XPack so let's take a look at this particular command we'll copy open a terminal and paste now as you can see these are the last 50 and that's that 50 designation at the end of the command you can change that to a hundred it'll show you the last hundred uh, items that have been updated so let's say you wanted to um, downgrade a package you need to know the name of it now I'm not going to use any of these but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the downgrade command and I'm going to use it on network manager 
Now, Network Manager, as I mentioned, I had a problem with. I, I'm not having a problem right now, but I had a problem. And I had to roll back from the 1.41 to 1.24-1, this number 5. If I wanted to do that again, all I would have to do is select package number 5 and hit enter. It would remove the 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 latest package and reinstall the older version 1.24-1. And that would resolve the issue of network manager not working properly. So I'm not going to do that because I'm not having an issue right now. But that's how you would downgrade a package. And go back and watch that video. I'll show, I show you in the video uh, exactly how to do that. I just went through the process briefly with you. So that would be how you, down, how you would downgrade a package. Now I'm going to close out the terminal. And the update is waiting for my password. And now it's finished. So I want to show you another useful piece of information. Uh, one of our uh, viewers, Scott R., pointed out to me that there was a way around the tedious process of downloading packages in Yaourt where it asks you for each package to approve and there are different command prompt the different uh, prompts that ask you to say yes or no and the problem with that is it asks you for one package and then it goes through and installs that package then it asks you for the next package and the next package and the next package one at a time so you can't leave the computer and have everything run um, there is a way around that and Scott R thank you Scott Scott pointed that out to me and I went ahead and downloaded and installed and 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 got my system set up for that let me show you how to do that now Scott pointed out that there is a package or a helper, a Yahweh helper, called PackHour. I ha I'm going to have this in the show notes. First of all, you want to install the key. So that's just copy and paste. Put in your password. And... I had already installed it, so that's showing that it's processed and unchanged. Now you have to install PackHour once you have that key. You're going to copy and paste. You need Cower Git and PackHour Git. Now I had some issues just installing PackHour or PackHour Git. This is what I found that worked. Copy, paste you'll go through this process you'll have to answer edit no continue yes continue yes and as you can see it's reinstalling because I'm already installed so you're going to answer no to editing and yes to continue or install okay so now it's all installed now the usage would be instead of using pack, uh, Yaourt, you're going to use PackHour. So it'd be PackHour-S. Let me show you how to install multiple packages that you would have installed previously using Yaourt. You can now install them much faster with PackHour. The command would be PackHour space dash S and then you would list your package names. Let's see. I'm going to install my password and let's see how the prompting is. Proceed with installation, yes. Proceed with installation, yes. And now it goes through 
and installs everything without any additional questions. That's the beauty of it. Now, you can, if you're comfortable with Yawart, of course, keep Yawart. But if you want to eliminate all of those prompts uh, in package after package after package, and you want to be able to answer the questions all up front and then maybe walk away from your computer while everything installs, then Pack Hour is the way to go. Okay, so the next topic that I want to go, go over is uh, using the package manager to install and remove packages. So if you know the name of the package and you don't want to use the terminal, then you can go ahead and type in. Now, since I am searching in AUR, I can look for AUR packages and they will come up. Now, you can see that it is showing green that Kazam is installed. If I double click it, I can remove it easily. I'll go ahead and check remove, click apply, click commit, put in your password. All these steps are required so that you don't remove something inadvertently. So now you can see Kazam is no longer green, it's no longer installed. So as you can see there are a lot, there's a lot of ground to cover, a lot of uh, exploring and digging and educating yourself as to the ins and outs of Pac-Man, Pamac, Yawert, PacHour, product uh, package listings, so many websites. So the beauty and I enjoy learning something new so the beauty is that with Linux there's always something new to learn. So guys that is it for this uh, short video on package management. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by the channel and I'll see you soon. Take care.